this is my mini Tesla coil with much more power. I've modified it. There's the heat sink for the ground, a little wire, new spark tap over there, held by two screws. <laughs> this time I'm using a DC flyback because my AC got fried. I got some sort of burn there, but I think I will get it managed to put on a new one. It's only 300 ohms. Alright. And this time, this is the DC flyback. This one had a problem as well. It had the HP output broken, but I got that managed to fix. This time I'm driving off a MOSFET. A little flip flop circuit. 0.1 microfarad caps and 4.7 kilo ohm resistors. And it's driven up by 9 volt power supply. It's a little adapter. And it works. I get nice little streamers. I'll turn it on now. Nice little streamers. This one has much more power. Even when it's going to my finger, I can feel it's getting really hot. Yeah, really hot. I'm going to use a standard automotive light bulb, 21 watts, and it will act as a plasma ball. Nice little power for Tesla coil. I'll show you output with a fluorescent lamp starter. See, it's starting to glow just like the neon. Nice little power. The power draw is about 1.5 a.m. A lot. But much more power. I can show you power with a fluorescent lamp starter. It glows and it will close about now. It has enough power to turn it to flash a flu to close the contacts in the fluorescent lamp starter. That is a lot of power. Nice little glow. The streamer is what I was looking for. It works. All I had to do was rewind the AC flyback.
and use a cascade instead. The other time I had it run off and off 6 volts, but I instead I put in 24 volts and it fried it. Here's another fly AC flyback, but this one, very low voltage output. It doesn't work. I also tried it with ignition coil. Mm, doesn't work. This setup does work much better. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you like it.